last season. And if I'm not mistaken, was it not his first game here, New Year's Day, 1992? I think it was. Mike Fountain was overseas with the national junior team. And certainly he's had a he's had a storied OHL career for a guy who's classified as a rookie this year. I'll tell you that much. Well, he walked out on the team once last year yeah. and once this year. Dustin Morrison wants Rob McEwitt, and they might just as well let him go. On fire with the helmets on. Oops, there goes Morrison. And Dustin will battle on. Wants to see what he's doing first. Uh, the sweater came up over his head a bit. Detler and Bell jump in to separate them. That's frustration on the part of uh, Justin Morris. He deems there to be an aggressor or an instigator in this case. That's how it started. Little bump. Yeah, Morrison, uh, he's the one who got the extra shot in to start things off. And you're right, it's frustration. And there's the reason why. Ravery dropping off his verdict. And Rick Kornakia has to be delighted with what's happening here. What this means is Belleville has to win not one game, but two games in Oshawa if this score stands. It would have to be the comeback of the year for it not to stand. Well, the task will not be easy. They're in Oshawa tomorrow night. We'll have it for you in CJBQ beginning at 7.15. Many a time this year, Tom, when you and I have gone on radio on the road this year. And